Hi, I'm Sarah Backhouse for Hub Culture. I'm joined by Susan Brown, Senior Policy Advisor for the Californian Energy Commission. Welcome, Susan. Thank you, Sarah. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Tell me about your involvement with the uh, Energy Commission and what initiatives you're working on right well, now. Well, uh, I'm a Senior Policy Advisor and I work on a number of special projects uh, related to climate change, uh, biofuels, alternative fuels, and uh, also energy research. So I have my hands full. <laughs> Tell me about some of the uh, carbon capture and sequestration projects you're working on. Well, I'm staffing a, a blue ribbon committee that was formed to uh, establish a policy framework for these first of their kind um, carbon sequestration projects. And it's something that's very important because the industry needs to have certainty as to how they'll be permitted, what kind of regulations will apply, because it affects the cost, it affects the bottom line. So my primary job is actually to advise a blue ribbon panel on regulatory issues affecting uh, CCS demonstration projects. Okay. And how far away are we from actually having a working uh, demonstration of that? We have several pilot projects that have been funded across the country in California. We, the first commercial project is expected in the, I'd say the 2013 to 2015 time frame. It's the Hydrogen Energy California project, which would actually use carbon dioxide produced by a power plant, uh, transport it via pipeline to the Bakersfield oil fields, and it would use, be used to stimulate additional oil production. So the value of having such a system is that you capture carbon that would otherwise be emitted to the atmosphere, and you use it for something valuable that has, has a, a revenue stream associated with it. Absolutely. Well, we'll watch with bated breath and see how that, uh, see how that turns yes. out. Are there yes, any other particular please. initiatives that you're very proud of that you're working on? Oh, I, I've worked on a number over my career. I think I'm very proud of the Bioenergy Action Plan. Uh, we had Governor Schwarzenegger sign an executive order in 2006, which basically said that the state needs to utilize its waste resources, its biomass resources for energy production. And by bioenergy, I mean energy in the form of biofuel, biogas, which could be produced from, let's say, a dairy digester or a biopower. So we're very, very proud that we have this part of our portfolio of energy options for California. And what brings you to the conference this time? Well, I've had a long-standing interest in climate change, and I once served as the climate advisor for the Energy Commission. Uh, so this is something that is very important to me. It's also important to the state in that uh, climate change is, is primarily caused by energy production. It's, after all, fossil fuel consumption that produces carbon. So uh, most of our programs are aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and it's very much in tide with what the Energy Commission does. Now, we just had an election, and California was very much the anomaly as far as the results go. Is the hope that progressive states like California will be emulated nationwide? And if so, why aren't we seeing that? Absolutely. I think uh, states like California have a responsibility to demonstrate leadership, as California has done. And uh, we're not the only states. I, I must give credit to some of the northeastern states for the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative. States like New York and, and Massachusetts have been in the forefront. But I think in climate change, we have probably the strongest laws. And uh, I think we have a lot to, to, to learn from other states and a lot to give to other states. And do you think that impact is being felt across America and, and the rest of the world? I do think it is. Um, one of the projects that I'm so proud of is the West Coast Governor's Global Warming Initiative, which was actually established under Governor Gray Davis. And we partnered with uh, the states of Oregon and Washington. And through that process, this tri-state initiative, we were able to share our building standards, our appliance standards, some of the uh, regulatory uh, processes for diesel emission reductions in the fleets, for example, the ferry fleets in Seattle. Uh, we used a lot of the technology they were piloting there and emulated them in California ports. Um, it's, it was just a, a very uh, cooperative and, and useful exercise, and I think we gained a lot of states. So we formed a coalition on the West Coast. The Northeastern states have formed a, a coalition on the East Coast, coast, coast. And I think our hope is that the movement will spread to the middle. <laughs> that would be a lovely, lovely outcome indeed. Yes, I think well, so. Susan Brown, thank you very much for your time and enjoy the rest of the summer. All right, thank you, Sarah. Thank you.